Good afternoon, everyone. This is Evelyn, and I have a few reads for you today. I have my Rider weight half deck. I did a little read for you on that. I, I have two, actually five deck reads, and then the seven deck read on the table in front of you for the Twin Flames. So let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Um, I didn't sleep at all last night. I actually had a little bit of a purge last night. I actually did my own meditation like three times, so it definitely brought up some stuff to purge. So you might want to do it more than once if you have the time. And let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Today is December 23rd, 2022, and it's very um, reminiscent, I want to say, to the it's the 23 today, which is the year that's coming up, 2023, which is the King of Wands. So that's some of the energies that will be coming up this year. Um, I did do some 2023 energy pulls in the second five deck read, so we'll get into that as well. But let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. And one more deep breath. love and blessings to you guys thank you for being here with me and uh, it's a bit of um, a stormy day I had to bring a lot of stuff in from the deck today because the wind was so strong we had a little bit of snow it doesn't look like anything really stuck but that's the first time Teddy's ever seen snow so he's like what the heck <laughs> and it was really windy I think that's really what was bothering him but he saw this stuff falling from the sky he's never seen before so, uh, yeah, some first energies. All right, let's roll the die, too. Twin Flames, December 23rd, 2022. It's 3.30 on the clock right now, which is the 33 of the Christ vibration with zero backing it up, the source energy. It's also the three of the Empress and the 30 of the Union, the four of wands. Uh, the Empress, the planet, the, um, the energy of abundance. So the three and the 33. And actually, uh, it was another card read. I, it's not in this deck. I mean, not in this read. I pulled a, another read for myself. And the three and the 33 both came up, which they just came up now. So that's creativity and uh, what's the other one? I can't think of it right now. Let's go ahead and roll the die. And we do have another yellow card now there, but that's the 63 of parenting. That's the underlying energy, which is the suffering and silence in parenting, right? Suffering for your children. Um, also, the cards that came out here are orange and purple, if you're interested in that. So the uh, third eye and the sacral chakra coming up for both of those. That's self-love and um, spiritual partnership. For the twin flames, and the die. We have, let's roll this one again, because that was between five and six. And this one's hiding. So there's definitely some hiding energy over here on this die, the purple one. Mm -hmm. And we have 11. So there's alignment, truth and balance, justice, Libra energies there that are hiding a little bit. Uh, we have Aries, which is the opposite axis of that. So that's within both Libra and Aries share that axis. Uh, we also have the North Node here, which is Taurus still. So Taurus is fixed. Aries is cardinal and so is Libra. We have Aries sitting in the middle there. I didn't do that on purpose. You know, that's like a bull in a china shop, right? Wanting to get out with the peacemaker over here and the north node over here. Somebody, there may be people trying to reason with the Aries who may be a bit bullheaded right there or ramheaded, I guess I should say. Ramses could be coming up as well. Let me put these balls away. Let 
for some reason i haven't put my eggs out in a long time and they're just calling me and put my eggs out my three eggs and let's get going with this read here so taurus there could be some stubbornness there with the aries in the middle and then the balance of libra that could also be libra and taurus butting heads so there you go with that so um, i'm going to pull a card from my half deck of the rider weight this is a laminated deck let's see what what character comes up for you guys today it's 333 on the clock now as well and today again is december 23rd 2022 and what is the energy for my viewers today what needs to come up most significantly the Queen of Cups, which, as I always say, is very much that wound, the uh, Mary Magdalene energy, but it's coming up with the Wounded Warrior. So again, those energies of being the victim or being defensive or dealing with someone who's defensive is coming up. And again, the Queen of Cups is very much focused on her heart and being loving, intuitive, and kind. So there's very, you know, two kind of polarized energies here. And then we have the world on the other side. So again, this could be Pisces energy, but it doesn't have to be. This very much can be any water sign. It can be Virgo energies. I'm sure it could come up with other energies as well. But for me, the world is Pisces. And this could be Sagittarius energies as well as any other fire sign. So Leo or Aries, and Aries came up already. So um, those are the cards we're focusing on here. The bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So here's the Knight of Cups coming in to offer some love to the Queen of Cups, perhaps dealing with Pisces as well. What's under there? We have Capricorn here too. So perhaps temp tempted before offering this love, this is a Capricorn energy or just the ball and chain energy, any kind of addiction or codependency there, or the King of Swords maybe volunteering to do something or offer someone a kind word. That could be a Capricorn feminine energy as well. There's another knight right before that too, but they're all characters, so we're going to leave it at that. So this is the way they look. We have the Knight of Cups coming out, offering love to the Queen of Cups, the Wounded Warrior, Pisces, or Divine Feminine, or this could be the Queen of Cups feeling this way as well. She's coming off this way, but really feeling defensive due to um, going through, coming full circle for something here, and maybe not wanting to deal with anyone right now, okay, even though it is loving. There could be some sick energy going on right now, too. Okay. So this first read, again, that's it's that same deck. It's just a half deck of, mo of all characters. And so I just pulled this energy. And it starts with the underlying energy here of the Wounded Warrior, which is actually the underlying energy. And then it starts up here with the Page of Wands. Okay. And this was done yesterday. And yesterday's day was the 22nd with the Fool. And then the day added up to 40, which is the Page of Cups. So therefore, today is the Knight of Cups, which we just saw the Knight of Cups. I'm, not, I'm sorry, it's not the Knight of Cups. 39 is. The uh, next, today is 41, which is the Ace of Cups. So today we have the Ace of Cups. And the 23rd, which is the King of Wands. So again, offering love. So, let's see here. And all blue, all blue energies were coming up this morning. So, like I said, the wounded warrior is the underlying energy. And that victim mentality. And something that came up in something I watched yesterday, I can't think of the names, but just about um, uh, empathy versus sympathy, which was a really good point to make, right? That you don't want to give sympathy, and this is from a channeler, what is, I'm trying to think of her, um, the channel name that she uses, Theo, so you might know who she is, but she was talking about um, um, the fact that sympathy is feeding into the wounded warrior mentality, whereas um, empathy is saying, you know, I get where you're coming from, perhaps you've been there before, but you don't want to be pulled into that energy, or do you want to feed it for them so it will continue? So that was coming up. 
and again you don't want to drop your frequencies to allow someone else to feel better right you want to keep your frequency high and allow someone to raise to your frequency instead um, so we have the page of wands and the king of pentacles the page of pentacles and the emperor the students and the masters were coming up very much so teachers and students um, five learn five learn from earth or excuse me, fire learns from earth here and earth from fire. So they literally reverse themselves in those two pairs. And again, uh, St. Germain came up yesterday as well with the violet flame. The chariot is the vehicle of warriors, of vibration. The dark night of St. Germain with a loving message and Scorpio and Libra arriving perhaps. Inspired by the King of Pentacles, learning from the Emperor, or it could be God here, right? The only, only energy that's really in control. The vehicle of ascension, of raising vibration and frequencies. The Divine Feminine within the Masculine, raising up. In riddle me not sorrow, but riddle me bliss. A question with a question, what if, what if not? To come to a consensus. Taking the show on the road of the dead, which is funny, I just posted someone something on Instagram that was looked like a Grateful Dead energy, so that, check out my Instagram, so I posted a whole bunch of stuff up there. So taking the show on the road of the dead, the Grateful Dead, I forgot that this came up here in my read, a ghost tour of the King of Swords with a message of love, of purity, and innocence, sets you and they free, unafraid to go back with an open heart, with Toto at your side, the Knight of Wands chasing you as justice, receiving a fiery dog's love. With Scorpio and Pisces loving the soldier, the warrior, Aries, Sag, and Libra running with the shadow and having fun with it. The King of Cups, Cancer, Cheese stands alone. As the, King of, as the Queen of Swords speaks to children and soulmates of pure innocence, sharing, and then the lack of sleep, the nightmares, the purging or stress, or the remembering of something that you forgot. Around the world in 80 days, Divine Feminine and Pisces, or the W in the world card here looked like XY, or you know, like the chromosomes. It looked like XY or VY, or a backwards Y, reflecting the Y exactly. And so it was coming up as instead of they, T-H-E-Y, as T-H-E-X-Y, including both the feminine and the masculine, or thexy. <laughs> Maybe someone can't say sexy. They say thexy. Maybe that could be a little kid who says that. Again, referencing both sexes. Naked and depressed, demure or pure, expressing your sexuality and your spirituality, and admiring yourself. And without the need to use a mirror in your knowing, in light blues of today, which was yesterday, speaking through other channels of world and higher self and back with Pisces and perhaps a different Pisces to Aries or Pisces leaping to Virgo, its axis and back. So again, when something's on your axis, it means it's definitely in your subconscious too. You don't still don't see it as your projection and your personality. The otherworldly and then the purity the spiritual mother and the virgin, the duality of the feminine and the masculine and the singularity in the middle, the fish swimming and the virgin caring for them, the octopus teacher here. Remember the octopus loses their children because they die when they birth. So here's the chance for them to teach other kids before they die. The octopus teacher, the September is actually seven, not nine. The teacher of October or eight, the storm, where the seven is the calm before the storm, and the eight is the storm of Libra into Scorpio, and then losing their cool with compassion of Sagittarius to see the bright side of things. And I had to bring up the seven, eight, nine, ten, because that's the years we're going into now. So 2023 is seven, and then 24 is eight, and so on, nine and ten. So we're going into the end of the cycle here, which gets more difficult, right? Because you're getting to the more empowered energies. The eight of power, of big business and sports, and inner strength, and manifestation of your dreams. And then the nine is endings, which is difficult for most people because it, it doesn't allow you to go forward. It keeps you held back. And then going to the new cycle of the one after that, of the um, 20, uh, 26 then would be the 10. So we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but 
I did. I was getting energies at least of next year, which is we're going into the 23 and then the 24 year of the King and Queen of Wands, and they happen to be coming up together in all of my reads the past couple of days. Um, there's actually a read I did yesterday, the day before, where every couple came up together. The King and uh, Queen of Wands came up together. The King and Queen of Swords together. The King and Queen of Pentacles came up together. The only one that didn't come up together was the Cups energy, and they were apart. Um, so at 11.18, which is Justice and the Moon, after talking about uh, the octopus teacher and the September 7 of the calm before the storm, the teacher of October 8, the storm of Libra into Scorpio and losing their cool with compassion of Sag to see the bright side of things. Or raising an octave, again the octave 8 and then avenue, the oct or 8 or octopus path. And again, um, the octode came up the other day as well. Learning uh Learning of Phaicus and the number 13, because 13 is the transition to another quarter. Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, transit. So again, the, the mutable signs coming up here. The messengers, the go-betweens, so to speak. And Ophiacus also comes up as um, an abbreviation of Sophia without the S, right? It's Ophi. I always say Sophi for Sophia. She's Sophi. So Ophiacus is the same as O-P-H-I, and then the U of, and then Cus, C-H-U-S, which also can be choose, right? Sophia chooses. So the energy of the 13 in transition to another quarter, and then the, um, the energy of Sophia and their cause with C-H-U-S, which can be cause or choose. Sophia and U of the Holy Grail, her cause and her choice, like Sophie's choice. The 13 of transition to another quarter and the nine of pentacles. Sovereign stands alone here. And that was at 1129 and sirens were going off in the neighborhood. 11 of justice, 29 of the three of wands, which is being present in the moment or waiting for your ship to come in is the traditional meaning. The sovereign stands alone, surrounded by justice in a cross. The justice and the lovers, the higher self or high priestess and the queen of pentacles. Libra, Gemini, Pisces, and Virgo, but Sagittarius came up with Libra, so we literally have the four uh, mutables here. And then Athena, uh, Saint Germain, and Jesus were all coming up, referencing these energies. And then the Virgin of the Virgo. So Libra or Sag was Athena coming up, Saint Germain was coming up under Gemini, Jesus was coming up as Pisces, and then Virgo and the Southern Cross, right? The one with the cross to bear, right? To, to be that pure energy. And the Lady of Justice and then Themis came up. So before that, um, the, the letters SC and MN both were coming up because they always come up together as one's half of the other. Like C is the Christ energy of the half of Sophia, the S. And N is the half energy of M. Again, the Christ and the Mary Magdalene. So MN was uh, defined as uh, Mongolian, million, mean, to become, established, to endure. That's the MN. And then what I I got Nemo uh Nemo Nemum Nemum the Muppets were coming. So that was coming up as MN. That was actually the first thing I was getting channeling wise. Um, but pneumonia was also coming up, so someone might be sick. Um, we have the S and the C, which first thing for me came up with science, and then the pneumonia, and then the Menominum, which is like the opposite of science, right? The Muppets. And then we have, uh, for SC, was Sardinia, soft cover, small caps, uh, crochet, single crochet, scene, to declare, scruple, stairwell, and staircase. And again, the Ogdode of the eight. And again, octave is the avenue of the eight. Even though in music, it's actually seven. But it's the, the, um, the next scale will be the eighth note. So... We have Ophiuchus again, the transition, which would normally come into the um, into the year um, in um, November to December 17th, and then go into Sagittarius and then Capricorn.
But in the traditional chart, we're in Capricorn right now. I think that Mercury and Venus are still in Capricorn as well. And um, we just transitioned the sun into Capricorn. So there's a lot of Capricorn energy, which Capricorn can have depression. So if you do purge, it's because we're in Capricorn and there may be a purge that needs to come up regarding those Capricorn energies of the goat and the need to succeed at all costs, right? The goat never gives up. They keep going and going. They do it very slowly and carefully, but they, they keep going and going no matter what. They never give up. So the um, Nine of Pentacles Sovereign stands alone with the four corners of the mutable energies and sirens going off. The lady, the sirens, ugh, the sirens. Um, I think that came up in something I was reading yesterday as well. Deceiving the sirens. So the Southern Cross came up. That was a channeled message for me. Um, and the Lady of Justice regarding the Southern Cross. And then Themis came up, which is uh, one of the Greek goddesses. And initially Heather and Little dot com came up. Another name is Ma'at. Um, Justicia in Roman terms. And then um, Athena had also come up separately from Themis, but there is a, a connection to them both. So the Southern Cross came up, and Themis means order. She's the daughter of Uranus and Gaia. Also, 24 Themis came up, which is a main belt asteroid. And so Themis is actually an acronym for a space program, time history and macro scale interactions during sub storms. As we were just talking about the seven before the eight, which is the calm before the storm. So some sub storms, and this was 217, 2007 when it started. It's a constellation of five NASA satellites, T-H-E-M-I-S, and they're A through E to study energy releases from the Earth's magnetosphere, the substorms, um, that intensify auroras near the Earth's poles. Three orbit Earth and two orbit the Moon. They removed Artemis and, um, for acceleration, reconnection, turbulence, and electrodynamics of the Moon's interaction with the Sun. So the ones that were moved are Themis B and C, then became Artemis, PI 1 and 2. It was launched February 17th, 07 from, and you know, February 17th isn't too far away from now. So there may be a reference to that from SLC 17B aboard a Delta II launch vehicle. Uh, it's a U.S., uh, Canadian, Austrian, Germany, France, um, contribution type of thing. And then Athena came up which has to do with the mind, where Themis is order. Athena is the mind, the divine intelligence, um, and even moral intelligence um, came up uh, as the name Ethion, uh, Ethiono, E-T-H-E-O-N-O-E, -E, which then could have been shortened to Athena. And that means moral, moral intelligence. So Athena is often called Pallas Athena, of wisdom, war, crafts, and handicrafts. Um, she could be considered the Roman Minerva. Uh, the Parthenon is dedicated to her. Owls, olive trees, and snakes. And Gorgonians. Linked to Inanna, the war goddess, both linked with creation. She is the daughter of Zeus, whether she was birthed from his forehead or already in her mother Metis. Also Zeus's uh, second consort. And by him, mother of Horu, or Hesperides, the giver of oracles. So, um, and that was coming up from constellation-guide.com. So the cards that were standing alone in this read were the Chariot, the Fool, the King of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Devil. And then the underlying energy of the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. Ascending on the Fool's Journey as the King of Cups from Suffering and Silence to Sovereignty. The Knight of Cups offering love to offering love to their own shadow, which for twins is the other. The um, Again, that's for everyone, but not everybody's twin is, is incarnate to be here and do this with them. 
We all have aspects of ourselves on the other side. So the wounded warrior ascending on the fool's journey as the king of cups from the suffering to the sovereignty of the knight of cups offering love to their own shadow side. So I looked up the Southern Cross, which is Crux. And Themis is coming up as the sovereign. And I was also getting the energy, uh, the download for me was the center of the Southern Cross, but there's no real center documented for the Southern Cross. The stars are mainly the outer uh, points of the cross, but there is one fifth star that's not normally considered, which if you look at the stars at an angle, definitely could be protruding from the center. And that one is Genon, G-I-N-A-M. So Sovereign Themis and the center of the Southern Cross, which is Crux, which happens to be the smallest of the 88, notice the 88 constellations of the twin flames dancing side by side, and the four to five stars. Some only talk about the four stars of the cross, but there is that fifth one there, and it's considered the shape of a diamond. Two bright stars, A crux and GA crux, which is the gamma crux, point to the south celestial pole. It covers 68 square degrees on the southern Milky Way um, visible band. It used to be a part of Centaurus, um, the uh, southern cross. So when I looked at the combination, that genon, genon, however it's pronounced, can definitely be the center point of the cross from an angled perspective. Um, genon is also considered the E or the Epsilon star. And again, it's not quite in the middle. If you look at it, it's off to the right on the lower side of the cross. But if you look at it at an angle as if it were projecting from the center, it definitely could be um, the center point there. And they have a lot of very bright stars in the Southern Cross as well. The A crux was, is the 13th brightest and was the Star of Magellan. So, Genon, G-I-N-I-N, and you, all, you guys all know me if you watch me. I, I break all words down and get their definitions and all perspectives. And this is the Epsilon. Crucis with a radius of 28.41 times the size or the radius of the sun with a very slow spin or a somewhat slow spin of 3.14 which is pi km per s and then we had three, 302 times more luminous than the sun and it's 2.17 billion light years away. Um, there is also another little constellation called the fly, and the fly on the wall has been coming up all week this week as well. It's called Musca, and it's just right below the crux. And then you have um, Centaur Centaurus, which is a huge constellation right above the crux, kind of protecting it. Um, the, M, the MN is also to suffer, feel pain, and, and again, Minum Minum was the main thing that was coming up for me. So the Ophiacus was the Sophia cause or choice, the humans in need of the S that was missing from Ophiacus, which is the sine wave, or the feminine aspect of it, including both the masculine and feminine. So the pictures of Themis constellation looked like, uh, it was so weird, one of the pictures that came up looked exactly like um, Perez's Instagram post that he made. It was weird, just the visual was exactly, they had nothing to do with each other. And then the 24 Themis asteroid is in the sign of Aquarius. And um, when I looked that up, like where Themis was, Virgo picks kept coming up. So I ended up on the website Myth. Myths. Uh, myths and Legends. It looked like Myth Sand, which it is, but it's actually Myths and Legends dot blogspot.com and it was titled the never-ending story and there was a picture of Virgo there so of course I noticed it because I'm Virgo so it was about Astraea and Themis so Astraea is the goddess of justice you know it's like that lady liberty energy and Virgo who once carried the pair in the story that she described Virgo who once carried the pair of scales not Libra that's now held by Libra that Astraea is the star maiden, the daughter of Zeus and Themis. 
she loved the earth so much she didn't want to leave when everyone had to leave the planet so she waited till everyone else left and then she had no choice because there were demons all around but she left her heart here only and being goddess of virtue saved her place in the constellation of virgo and athena was also the daughter of zeus right but we don't know if she was pulled out of his head or you know what the deal was and how she was actually birthed so athena astraea came up when i looked up the two names you know one versus the other um, this came up as somebody's name. Athena Estrella is an artist from Philadelphia, um, from the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts with a Master's in Fine Arts 2022. Um, by the way, she's on Instagram with 2828 28 followers. So you might want to check her out. At 1252 is the Hanging Man and the Queen of Swords. So the next site that I was guided to was wolfden.com. It's actually spelled W-O-L-V-D-E-N.com. And there was a picture of conjoined angels of Athena and Astraea, right? That their interpretation was they're actually from the same uh, egg. Or second, what are they right at birth? So second at birth. So are they like a poly, um, a poly birth? This wolf they wrote is immortal. They never age or die. They cannot be used or returned or returned into, or retired into something else. Estrella and Athena, and again, this is Mumbai, by, this is another site that came up, was actually a building, like a new apartment building, which was called, as the two wings were Estrella and Athena in Mumbai. So they very much are thought to be part of the same in Mumbai. And then Rastamji, time, time so, Time, so Findia events, so F India events. So that could be read too, like so Findia events. Um, so YouTube was about this new building in the township of Thane, Mumbai. And again, the two wings of Astraea with 20 stories on their side and Athena with 27 on hers, and she's more of the warrior energy. Um, two and three bedroom apartment, apartments, and this was like 10, 15 to 13, 11 square feet. That was the description. So we get back to the story here at 1259, again, the minute before the hour of one, the 11th hour, where the Queen of Pentacles is offered a wand choice by the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, the messengers, perhaps the Gemini twins of Gemini and Virgo. The magician or two messages or deliveries from the magician to the queen of pentacles which can represent gemini and virgo or gemini and virgo twin messengers from mercury as gabriel ether which then goes to vapor or, or eden creating the earth now instead of six days and plus one now in two days and made an offer on the third day or the magic child still trying to reach her as the queen of pentacles and the high priestess world covet the Nine of Pentacles sovereign energy, or perhaps their own sovereignty. The support system of the Virgo Pisces axis with the vertical Sagittarius over Gemini and the middle being the Libra scales. And again, as I always just talk about, Virgo and Libra are the midpoint of the astrological cycle, going from one to the other. So Genon, uh, the closest word that came up, the constellation name didn't even come up in Wiktionary, which is where I always get my word definitions from because it defines all languages. Um, the closest thing that came up was Gina and also Jinang, N-A-N-G, which means including along with a matron, married woman of established age and dignity or wife. And then Jinandra came up, which, uh, which also means woman, having stamens or pistols together in a column or the energy of having the masculine and feminine in one or androgynous at 108 which is the magician and the eight of the dance and manifestation of dreams and the num a number that came up with Themis was 080508 from University of California I think that was the number associated with the project of the satellites up in space 
05, excuse me, 08, 05, 08, and it was associated with the University of California. So, and then I define gin. Gin has a lot of different definitions, and one of them is a tripod with poles that unite at the top, again, coming up to source energy. With pulleys and ropes, etc., hoisting drum, usually vertical, a whim. A wind pump, the cotton gin, and again, it brings me to Gandhi and the, and the wheel. The instrument of torture, or to begin, and of course, gin is alcohol as well. And it's also a trick, a device or instrument, a scheme, a trap, a machine for raising or moving heavy objects. And the word and came up as well, because we have gin and. And Anne has a lot of definitions too, very significant ones, including one. So the way this came up was that Jinan, that center star of the Southern Cross, is the peaceful woman, girl, child, or birth. One tripod that unites at the top, the instrument for raising, usually vertically, to begin, to trim the edges, to be switched on, safe, secure, to fend for oneself. Her womb, joint, vessel, room, path, and now moment, I woman, like hear me roar, generating source, breeding, birth, to chip off a part of myself. The trap or trick flipper, just like a pinball wizard, and there's Tommy coming up, and actually I listened to Love Rain on me last night. Um, a trap or trick flipper, like a pinball machine game, the flipper will slow you down, stop you, or let you go through if you ask the right in, right question or have the correct intention. The hand of the woman or girl child is an extension of grace because they are the womb. They are the birthing mechanism in the human race. The center of the Southern Cross, or in other words, the crux to bear, the mother bear and her cubs, staying front and center at equal distance to all of her cubs. Again, the center of the cross energy just like the center of the circle or the singularity. At 132, which is the one of the magician, the 32 of the journey or the journey man. So we go back to the cards, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is love. They are actively being love as opposed to the other Cups cards. Two, the Two of Cups and lovers, which we're right next to each other here. The Two of Cups and lovers together is that twin flame energy. Offering love to the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups the hermit and the queen of wands, and the devil themselves who's sitting there waving. Your shadow aspect, it's, it's twin, locked in. The knight of cups offering connections and affection to the king of wands and the queen of cups, or offering love to his queen of cups, but the king of wands stands in their way. The king of wands may be on high alert here. As the hermit sheds light down below on the wounded warrior's plight, the Queen of Wands looks elsewhere, with temptation right next to her, working. People raising hands, raising their wands, raising their DNA strands and their swords, volunteering perhaps to come forward. The Fool begets the chase. The King of Cups here begets the mother with children. The Nine of Swords, one without sleep or purging, begets the world and higher self looking over their shoulder. And the Nine of Pentacles, Wounded Warrior, Sovereign, begets a larger group with grounded females and magicians with comments wanting to show their magic wands to them for acceptance or contribution. The Knight of Cups begets the Twin Flame couples, along with the Shadow who begets the Empress who's offering her help elsewhere to one who's um, happy with themselves, right? Not wanting to be in that victim mentality. The wounded warrior begets woundedness. And that ended right at 144 again, the 144 coming up, the magician and the 44 of Hercules and the four of cups of grounding, integrating, and mastering how to receive love. And of course, some may interpret grounding and integrating time as boredom or apathy or rejecting someone's love or just ignoring them. So then we have the second message here, and this is this read. So this is a five deck read, and I did it with different decks this time, just for a change. So I was guided to the unknown, the wild unknown tarot is the, the guidebook actually, that's the top deck, and then that half deck of the Rider weight. Then I have the, my mixed pile of the Kipper deck and the Lenormand Reverie in the middle there, 
and then the energy deck, and then the bottom is the journey of love. So I'm going to show you up close so you can see them better. There we go. So you can see each of the decks, the underlying energy to the left, and the cards I had to count to the right. And then three cards came out for each one. Sometimes they'll leak over into the pile I had to count. Okay. All right, so this one was done. <sighs> well, first, um, from that last read, the Empress serving up self-satisfaction or beautiful table for nine wanting to reward those who are happy with themselves no matter what situation they're in, making the wounded warrior jealous or defensive or triggering them to go within, which is fine because that's some people's job is to trigger. I'm sure I do that sometimes or a lot. So observe, allow the universe to take care of the rest and enjoy the party here. And it's always about just changing our perception or our perspective and the way we see things and raising your vibration, right? So it's not about good and bad. It's all about balance, right? Because we all have to balance ourselves. And the way the whole world will become more balanced is by keeping your vibration high. You literally pull everybody up, else up toward you. And then we eventually, you know, it's like the mean and, and all, you know, having a lot, a big group towards the center of, of the average, but there's always those outliers that need to, you know, fade away, and they do, right? Because they no longer resonate with the with the with the uh, whole. So, the first deck was cut at 207, which was the Wild Unknown. Then 208, 9, 10, and 11 for the other decks. Um, Wild Unknown had nine cards at the end. The half deck had seven. Lenormand Kipper had seven. The energy deck had two, and the Journey of Love had one card at the end. And there's no Jamatra entries for 97721, but that was the number that came up. So, so I went into my inner little girl yesterday. What does she want me to know right now? And she was desperately trying to unlock the gate to the divine mass inside, right? Because when I go in within, I'll see like the middle will be like the separation between the two rooms of the masculine and feminine. She'll be on my left, he'll be on the right. I don't always see him. Sometimes my little girl just comes up. So she was just trying to like force this gate to open, even though it was locked. And at the same time, Teddy wanted my attention. So instead of taking my attention away from her, I brought Teddy wanting my attention into my meditation with her and brought Teddy to her, which made her very happy. And as soon as I did that, it, she literally became that, that card in um, Nature's Whispers of the little girl with her unicorn, which I love that card. It's a really beautiful energy. Um, she also said that she likes, she had this sneaky, little sneaky look on her face. She said, I like triggering people like she was being guilty. <laughs> it was funny. Um, uh, she said she likes, she was showing me like putting on the pressure because it needs to happen. Like everyone has different jobs to do, but she said she liked um, doing that triggering stuff. Um, she was kind of like trying to show herself like Tarzan, like, oh, like I'm strong. I'm the lion's heart um, show of power that it's fun for her to be the lion. So the unicorn, the lion, and the little dog were coming up. So of course, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz were coming up. The unicorn, the lion, and the tin man, and the dog, Ella, was so funny because the dog is Toto, and I always tell you that my first meditation guide was my toes or my toes. And Toto is two toes or my toes. So here the little dog is coming up as the masculine being the dog, right? So it's kind of funny the way they're bringing it through. But we have the lion and then the unicorn being like the scarecrow and then the tin man who needs a heart. So the underlying energy here was the uh, cobra the Cobra Lovers and the Courtship with the number four, which can be the Emperor or Stability or that Lambda Leap of Faith. The 47 of the Thinking Woman, which is the Heart to Crown connection, right, softening things up. And again, the Sweet Spot, Synchronicities, Heaven in Their Eyes, having lots of choices perhaps, or perhaps online shopping. The 19 of Shakti, so again, the Warrior Feminine, like Athena. 
And then Cobra Kai was coming up on the lookout for lover's courtship, emperor or stability, or in the heart chakra, number four. For the thinking woman, four to seven, leaping to crown with synchronicities in heaven in her eyes, and a variety of things that she loves. And Shakti, which notice Shakti is to shock T, which T-I for me is source, but also shocking T. <laughs> That's for you, T. With wounded with warrior sunshine exposing all, the Astraea and Athena sides, her lion's heart, her Libra balance and scales, with the virgin in the middle, the little girl inside. At 246, again, the higher self or divine feminine, and the 46 of the inner children, the sweet, innocent part of yourselves, the underlying energy of the elephant with a nervous stomach after rescuing the flame from the fire pit, but easily intimidated, and there's the Tim that comes up again, that came up the other day as T-I-M, source co-creation, or the God I am. Um, and t- so the the elephant with a nervous stomach coming up as rescuing the flame from the fire pit, but easily intimidated by the bee, or that, ef- that reference to the carpenter, or not to be, hovering over me. And I didn't notice that, but hovering came up in the read today too. Uh, with stingray plugged in and turned on, the foxy golden child or golden nest egg is in a safe place where the croc can't sense it with their smell, even with the vulture present, because the vulture is actually an old eagle, a double agent, which also came up in my Instagrams today, um, uh, because the vulture is actually an old eagle, a double agent, keeping an eye on the croc to teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. Or Foxy B has two things, or two thugs guarding the egg, but they don't know what's in the egg, or all those wanting a piece of them, all right, those negative energies. Targeted by Croc, laying in wait, the vulture perched, and the cobra on high alert, covering the six degrees of separation. At 254 of the Divine Feminine Higher Self, and the 54, which is the Page of Swords, which is also that Gemini or even um, Gabriel energy there of the messenger of Mercury. The one there of the butterfly getting, and again, Thoth comes up with Mercury as well. The butterfly getting used to new wings and the bat lost in space. Isn't it supposed to be the ball up there, not the bat? Maybe they just got lost chasing the fly ball that was hit out of the park with hummingbird whispering in their ear, over here in a high frequency place clearing the ethers so the bat can resonate, so butter and bat humming together. At 3.01, the empress and the magician with space between, and the challenge being the CB, which can be a CB handle, CB utter, fly bat, as opposed to fly ball, and then it came up as, so the hummingbird came up as the human G-bird. And again, the G-men were coming up in my Instagram today as well. The queen bee, which always comes up on my cup now. I recently, my coffee cup I usually use broke, so I bought another mug, and the first mug that I saw that I liked was a queen cup, which is perfect because my soul number is the queen of cups. So it has queen on it, and it's a cup. And it's pink for compassion and white. So the queen bee came up here as the queen of cups, which came up as your significant card of the day, that Mary Magdalene energy, the softness of the queen of cups. The queen is the Q-U-E-E-N. The Q, of course, is the representation of the egg and the sperm, the masculine and the feminine, but it's also the quantum leap in the Taurus. The U of the Holy Grail, the E-E of the energetic exchange, or two times, one equal and congruent to the other, and then the capital M, which for me is the Christ vibration. So we also have the Q-E-2 here, right? Q and two E's and then the U and the N, the UN, which someone just also said, I think that was that same channel who said that um, that we're going in the direction of having um, something similar to the UN, except it's run by the people, not by the governments. So here we have the UN of QE2, which is actually queen. So the QE2, as the U and N are UN, with the energetic exchange of the EE between them. 
the human leap to the Holy Grail through the energetic exchange of the Christ Holy communication. Her leap to hold space in energetic exchange until he's Christed or raised to the nth degree at 305, which is the Empress and the Hierophant. Excuse me, nine cards came up here with the hyena slithering away from the truth of the owl being wise with the elk hothead or part of a group crowning with whale needing a lifeline and raft as or with star superficial buffalo or superficial star and buffalo or grounding from buffalo to phoenix rising in the cosmic egg collective awakened on the ground with the troops in the awakening as the hyena with the truth from the owl elk whale star buffalo from root from root to tip rising the crown or taking or or taken through the seven chakras and some big wigs paying attention maybe there's something to this at 313 so again those who are very intellectually based who don't usually uh, like this stuff they think it's foo-foo may be watching some people and now resonating with some things they're seeing out there at 313 so then we have 314 which is pi again and the lover's card was next with 314 which is also my daughter's birthday um, the uh, letters from the cards were coming up as high black which can reference dark as well or high enabling or hyena feels blah high, high can also be hy which is the h of the lap dance or the eight and the y of the y in the road or the zero point field and the bow so high bow or high bow so somebody could be bowing on a stage or place from a high up and then le elk and that could be the elk again le elk or lk which is the right angle of energy or hy being the uh, 3d dance to get to the zero point and the boa all constructor or all star or whale's path with somebody might have acute renal failure here and i was just getting alf here as well so the boa constrictor or all star or whale's path with a r f and that could be a dog barking as well arf arf is buff pc os or o or oz and the mike egg or mice and the golden gate the gg and g came up in my instagram cards uh, or my instagram pictures as well today at 319 the empress and the 19 of the sun the underlying energy of the king of swords and the king of pentacles invite to the knight of swords lover or gemini to bring their message or the king of swords introduces the king of pentacles and page of pentacles or father and child to the knight of swords lover or twin or gemini or the knight of swords type of affection at 325 which 25 is the knight of wands the first card here is the devil waving at the king of wands or capricorn waving goodbye to the king of wands lover or family as the page of swords steps up with a message or takes a swing in hopes of hitting one out of the park to clear the air perhaps gemini page of swords or twin message leaving capricorn transforming or doing the shadow work and the king of cups lost in space as the page of swords says danger will robinson you're about to get a big hit from the bench at 333 there were seven cards here where the fool is free with the knight with the knight of wands following close behind away from the partner offering a little love to see the light but the hermit hiding behind the page of wands or their inspiration that the page of cups will get love that the queen of cups sent within airy sag running back or fool free walking the dog or airy sag running back to leave a message for the king of wands shadow lover or capricorn gemini or twin the queen of cups is offering her cup to the hermit with the light on or perhaps they left the light on for them or the light on and no one's home as the page of wands offers inspiration to the page of cups and the queen of cups before they leave at 343 the empress and the 43 of the three of cups and come together in joy or fire sign leaving pisces and cancer or virgo behind or going back to work 
And that fire sign can be one of those people. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Virgo can be a fiery person. Maybe going back to work. At 345, and the number 8 and 4, they keep coming next to each other, and I keep being called to divide them because 4 times 4.5 equals 18. So that 4.5, maybe it's mid-April, is very significant here, or April to mid-April, or April 18th. So um, the underlying energy at 345, staying alive, staying alive. The Page of Wands, or 26, with great fortune, with the 15 of the Capricorn Lover, or Gemini Shadow, the Queen of Cups working hard, going to work for peace, or to get out of the house to expose and be exposed to new things. The Queen of Cups is nesting the dream or with dream partner in a beautiful environment in a wake-up call for moody little girl or cancer child, and that could be a pet as well, with Leo Aquarius access there, with Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Aries, or star child in a courtship. The courtship of Eddie's father came up here, or at which is, in my reads, the godfather. Because Mr. Ed is is God. So the courtship of Eddie's father would be the godfather. Perhaps um, working at a child's event or wedding event. So maybe there's a big uh, young person's wedding, you know, and maybe there's a mafia person whose daughter it is. Or it can just seem like that. Or maybe it's literally your godfather. Three, four, 353 is the... Um, the Empress and the Knight of Swords, which also could be the Messenger of Truth, the Knight in Shining Armor. And the first card here is the Cancer Pup or Child. That could be a moody or romantic child as well. Wanting the Ten of Cups family to take them out or to play with the Eight Dance of the False Person or the Dance of the Two with the Mask on or the Tango. Or Two in a Courtship of the Tango of the Man and Woman or perhaps a Masquerade Ball. Or little one transforming into adulthood, coming of age, learning their own message to bring via messenger service. Perhaps a message in person? Or the seal is broken. And seal came up today as well, too, again. And the, the kiss from a rose. Aries, Cancer, and Leo here seeing both sides of themselves. At 359 of the Empress and the Five of Swords, again, the war within, and the minute before the hour, the 11th hour, which right always brings out the worst in us, right? When we feel rushed, that we need to get somewhere at the 11th hour. Seven cards came up again. So here we had seven, seven again of the sovereign and the seven year of the calm before the storm. The 29 of imprisonment, being present to a mouse perhaps or a gift. And I actually listened to Michael Jackson singing Ben last night. So a lot of this stuff coming up. And this was after I'd done the reads. I just happened to listen to the songs. So present to a mouse perhaps or gift both unseen or missed. Capricorn cold bear, burdened or carrying too much weight, hermiting changes or travel plans or a move. Capricorn Virgo Taurus here, grounded type events of all that earth energy with 369 challenges of pain and bliss. And again, 369 is the uh, 36 of the Atlas energy and the 10 of wands. So the challenges of pain and bliss and looking for emotional waters to ground into for earth doesn't flourish without water, and vice versa. And the devil hermit with the empress in energetic exchange, with the king of pentacles abundant flow, and or Pisces coming together in the labyrinth with the mother or loving um, nature woman. Or this can be a mature woman as well. Or mother feeling imprisoned when children are traveling or in getting ready for their arrival, or mom's shadow side or a couple with expectations of the mother. And then we have 406, which is the emperor and the lovers, or the family with space between. The underlying energy of the 27 of walking away with the ace of wands, the inspiration, the offer of new growth or a passion project or something like that. The 39 of the Knight of Cups and Archangel Gabriel's message or delivery to 28, which is also the twin flame energy of victory. And then leaving without a word traveling to community or to work or to work the crowd or out with the girls. The 22 of the journey of the yin-yang balance of the 41, the holy grail of arriving at the seventh chakra with Uriel. Arrived, but perhaps they were disappointed at the prize they received, needing some self-love after four to one of the 41 and to get back to the four to seven instead of going back down to the root chakra. The thinking woman getting 
positive again or working on something new. So again, visiting the root chakra once again to clear some, do some more fine tuning. So um, at 410, which is the emperor and the wheel of fortune, that high vibration of destiny, the five of attachment of the work hours, perhaps five to nine as opposed to nine to five, perhaps working at night, to the broken heart or the freedom of one that ends up leaving the other behind, right? So the freedom for one person makes the other pers person feel leave left behind. The thinking woman with a mask removed to heal the heart and value their own time. Um, there's energy of transplant, like star seed implanted, but also transplanted, you know, like a walk-in was coming up here too. And again, the energy of the tin man, right? They need a heart, which was coming up as a star seed walk-in. And T-I-N is T-I and N, which is source Christ, always in need of a good heart. So that's that tin man reference. Thinking woman with mask, and this could be someone, again, the walk-ins don't just walk in, but if someone doesn't want to be here anymore, um, that's the way Sam described his walk-in, that he was really struggling, and then a walk-in came in. So um, there could be some more of those coming in right now, whether it's you or somebody else, but that energy was coming up here. And again, the energy of all the characters in The Wizard of Oz especially her friends and her dog. So the thinking woman with a mask removed in order to heal the heart and value their own time as the 20 of the, um, the 20 of the judgment card of envy here as the dark mother, the Taurus, and again, the dark side of every mother. Everyone has a dark and a light side. The envy of the dark mother, the Taurus, the Virgo, and the Aquarius, about two cards here the 19 and the 21 of the sun in the world, which is also Leo and Pisces energy, the exposure and completion or the whole, or perhaps in need of a vacation, rest or sun, and to strategize on how to get there with Leo and Pisces or sun with dark mothers blocking their completion process or plans. At 415, which is tax day, so that could be coming up for somebody. And again, there's always for businesses, there's always end of year taxes, taxes, and just end of year for everybody, taxes to report. The underlying energy of the 44 of rings of time, the 66 of the coming together, and the 31 of the Christ flame with the aid of the yang yang lover. The 49 of the woman of light next to the 52, which is the woman of light, Lady Liberty, the queen of swords, receiving the light from the ancient ones, and the 19 of Shakti, the warrior feminine, and Hercules, her harvest with rings of time, of age and experience, is a 3D construct, leaving the 3D to enter the 4D at 33 as the 66 comes together, is coming together in the ethers as in reducing. So when I speak of the double numbers, they go in two different directions. So when we're talking about... Um, going from the 3D to 4D, it goes down, right? So it starts with the 1D as 66, the 2D 55, the 3D 44, and then the 4D 33 of the Christ vibration, right? Waking us up to take us across the bridge and so on to the 60, which is then 11, which is the instant manifestation. But it goes the other way. So when we're talking about 66, we're going back to the 1D because that's at zero point. So going back the other way and in order to enter the golden gate of the spiral coming together of the mother with the 31 of the Christ flame sun in chaos, the turbulence in the dance of the yin yang lover bending over backwards to dance as the 49 of the woman of light backing in, backing in slow. or back in the glow. As the ancient ones are pouring down on the Queen of Swords, Lady Liberty, Shakti, the shock of source, the Sha energy source, or Sh, AKA source, the quiet within, 
the lady and the sun, the mother, the light bearers, as the ladies of liberties with her son, the yin-yang Christ lover, and the feminine side, the 19 of the sun and one through nine, the leap into magician to experience one through nine, which again is my 144 of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a T345 is the two and five reflecting each other becoming the eight, with the 34 between of the 34, eight of wands, which is the energetic exchange, and also the emperor and the emperor, the three and the four. And then once you're finished that cycle, leaping to the six, seven, eight, nine pod, which is the six and nine coming together to make the eight, which is the two-eyed needle of the twin flame quantum energy. And the seven is then the gamma ray key to unlock that pod of the twin flames and then back to the leap again of one because the one is a line, which is a leap between two points. So the two five energetic exchange of the emperor and the empress, the mother nature and the central sun to get to the next le level of the game, like the pinball wizard, the six, nine, eight pod of two peas in a pod and a boomerang gamma ray key to get in, in the quiet before the storm, the storm being the eight, of course, the quantum energy of the two-eyed needle, twin flame potion pull, to stay in the middle of the seesaw without falling off, to weave and dance, to go with the changes, ch 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 change in and face the strain. At 521 is the freedom of the world and completion coming full circle and feeling complete. The one of the nine of the heart of God, the all and the one, and the 40 of the void, the page of cups innocently creating the human ID or I divine, the 43 of the bride offering herself and coming together in joy, the sun with the hermit and PC, which is the page of cups, but also someone might be needing to be PC here to come together. And again, the referencing families coming together here as the bride offers herself up to the chaos of the sun coming in or life coming in. The one card here was the 30 of the towering magnificence of the home, the union, the union of the sun coming home to the ohm, to the new year, the human co-creation, and the Christ mass new year, unifying the group of those within the critical mass unity in the year of 2023-7. Four is survival. Five is to be free. Six is to show love with family at 537, which is the freedom to love unconditionally. Seven is the key to calm before the storm as 2024 is the two-eyed needle of the eight and nine, 2025, is then getting to the other side of the pod, of the six, nine pod. So the cosmic egg collective awakening to the queen of cups the mature woman, number six of the lovers or the love family and community at 547, which is the freedom and change and expansion of the synchronicities, the four to seven sweet spot of going from your heart to your crown, complete with strategy or perhaps the ship's log traveling the world, or perhaps you're watching Star Trek with 621 and 30 coming full circle and back home to union. At 551, which again is the freedom with uh, the King of Swords, which is also the Hierophant, that could be a Taurus King of Swords as well. And again, coming full circle to come back into Union. Um, 621, 30 were the three cards right there, and that could be a reference to June too, because I was definitely getting June and spooning as well. So June 21st and 30, June 21st is always significant, but June 30th may be significant there as well. As we start, the seven deck read was at 6.01, but we're gonna do the other five deck read first. So here's that final one of the five decks. And this one, I did my usual decks. I did the Journey of Love up top, and then the Shaman Dreams, uh, Nature's Whispers and Metatron at the bottom, and then I used my half deck uh, for some energies for 2023 for each deck, like each quarter. So here is the same setup as before as well. Three cards out, underlying energies on the left. So I'm going to pull them up a little bit so you can see the cards better. Journey of Love, Shaman Dreams, Nature's Whispers, again with the Rider Waite half deck there. And then we have the Metatron deck at the bottom. 
so and that's a couple numbers like 12 21 7 and 2 keeps coming up as well um, pi keeps coming up so some very significant numbers and 717 has come up quite a bit this week as well um, so like I said I didn't sleep last night I, I cut this deck today, uh, The Journey of Love at 821, and then The Shaman Dreams, Nature Whispers, and Metatron at 822, 23, and 24. So again, talking about the energies we're going into. From the year 22, right, the journey through 21, to Shaman Dreams 22. I didn't get this before, but now I am. Um, Nature's Whispers tw for 23 coming up, and then Metatron 24. And then... At 8.26 is the jump to the half deck of 2023. And then the other half of the deck, I guess, is going to be 20, um, 4, 5, and six, 4, 5, and going into 6. But I feel like 26 is, is when we're done all that, like 25 is the last year. So let's see how that goes here anyway. So the, the, the numbers that came up from the piles at the end of these reads, there's two of them because I pulled the other deck as well. So we had 62.42 and then 24.32. 62.42, I just pulled the first entry from Jamatra, which said, uh, death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside us while we live. And then from 24.32, we have waiting to waken, waken up. It said waken up, waiting to waken up. And then the second entry was Jesus Christ, almighty key holder. The third entry was wake up. Oz is keeping us asleep. So again, there's that reference of the wicked witch coming in and, you know, putting sleeping powder on us to keep us asleep. At 8.32, the underlying energies was the first card out was then 32. So the energy of the journeyman with devotion to the small, the three of the benefactor, the 19 to shift your energy and the 31 of transformation. The journeyman and the empress need to shift and to shine light or get in the sunshine. Life, again, in the wintertime, a lot of people don't get enough sun, so it's important for the feminine here is the message to get sun because the light transfers from her to the masculine. And the chaos of transformation of light and dark. Devotion to the small and the benefactor of grace and generosity. And shifting to transmute with the queen of wands, which is the omega energy of the divine feminine ego. Which definitely is coming up because I purged last night. So we have the 836 of the dance of the atlas energy. The weight of the world perhaps you feel like you need to lose weight or and again go into the positive aspect or perspective as opposed to the negative or loss the need to lose something as opposed to um, saying you are healthy right always you are in that energy say I am balanced I am whole I am um, magnificent I am ageless uh, something cryon uh, recommended doing that if you have to write down an age on a form to immediately cross it out in your mind afterward, right? Don't put your age down anywhere. I am ageless, right? Healthy, wealthy, abundant, and wise. Are you a great reader? Are you a great healer? What are you great at? Say it, I am great at this. Um, so we have the angel of Jupiter awaken as Sagittarius to Capricorn shift, right? It's a big wake up call for Sag, right? Because Sag energy is very different from Capricorn. Sag is that party time, right? For all the Christmas parties leading up to Christmas. And then Capricorn is where responsibility kicks in, right? You have that loving family time at Christmas. And then the, the back to work, you know, a little bit of a break, but then back to work energies on New Year's Eve. Which is a lot of work, right? To get New Year's Eve together. So we have um, the lovers aligning with 47 of soft, which again is the sweet spot. The 27 of the, the ethereal touch, the 67 of the Knight of Pentacles and the Swan and Swan Lake, excuse me, and then the 53 of the Legacy of Light, the 32 of the Devotion to the Small, 
and the four to seven of the heart to crown softening of synchronicities and dreams with the ethereal touch inspiring as the knight of pentacles swan being the graceful swan and the knight of swords or the energy of of the jesus masculine energy and the legacy of light of the journeyman bringing good news and attention to the small family dreams of sugar plum fairies dancing in their heads as the knight of pentacles and the knight of swords deliver at 851 the dance of the king of swords the 24 of the queen of wands and the space between the words the five of the communal dance and the 42 of the blood dance the queen of wands free to connect one to one and there again is that energy of the hh or the two dead ends with the one in the middle or changing the dance and i was getting the reference 24 and 42 are both my parents soul numbers so again the dance between the 42 and the 24 which reflect each other which is the queen of wands or omega and the 42 of the two of cups or soulmate energy um, again hatching the egg as a group 855 the dance of the truth the ace of swords of excalibur and six cards here with the 22 of loving all that is and holding space the 34 of the energetic exchange and the arrows of love of becoming and the 45 of the hidden beauty and the purge the 23 of across the waters of the king of wands and the 11 of the eruption of light to the 51 of the king of swords to dream a little the full open to the energetic exchange or the arrows of love the lots of energy back and forth purging the king of wands with justice of the king of swords or libra and aries in a balancing act again that's the axis of libra the seesaw holding space between words to become what is hidden if the walls could talk again the fly on the wall and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with sudden alignment and eruption of the king of swords to dream a little putting the power here so here's where i pulled a card for 2023 from the half deck and the cards that came up here for the first quarter is the page of cups and the page of swords so definitely devotion to the little ones devotion to the little ones and the little ones also stepping up white and blue energies right of blue skies and purity of love and advertising and making up uh or rather makeup and messages again so people could be playing with makeup or perhaps going to a mass ball or again um, sending and receiving messages at 903 is the hermit and the empress the underlying energies of the 39 of the metox so I went into my little girl here again and she reminded me to roll my heads but that could be heads will roll as well and she what she was showing me is rolling something up her chest so i don't know if she was unrolling a carpet or perhaps a painting that was rolled up but she was rolling it up her chest up her whole body she was unrolling so that could be rolling out the red carpet as well but i was getting myself being reminded to do my head rolls because i didn't do it because it was so cold and um, stormy outside this morning um but again she was rolling something up her chest and then throwing her arms up in the air and saying voila and again that was an energy also to cuddle up and go back to sleep 2023 she was saying that plaids will be in with hair bands this year and tights cropped at the ankle with flats she also told me she wanted to ski but she'll get back to me on that tomorrow <laughs> i haven't skied in forever um so yes that was very cute she was giving me fashion I wasn't thinking about fashion at all, although I have a, I have a, uh, a certificate in uh, technical fashion design. So um, she was telling me what the fashion is this year for 2023. And I was literally seeing her in a really kind of boho, like taupey sweater, you know, kind of loose and baggy, nothing binding, uh, with a collared plaid shirt of like Christmas colors, red and green. And then she was wearing... Um, black tights that were cropped at the ankle with flats so black flats you know really basic there but she looked really cute it's kind of like almost like britney spears energy but she was oh headbands was the first thing she said we're in so wearing headbands again um so 39 is the metox of the knight of cups the 20 of the feast of plenty the 51 of the stars in the sky and the 50 of the spirit of the river the 63 of the winter's dream 
and the eight of the crown games, the right use of power, and the three of the benefactors of grace and generosity. So the knight of cups in a wake-up call to the king of swords, with the ten of cups happy family, perhaps suffering in silence or dealing with a sister or coming out of hiding here, dealing with parenting perhaps, in the dance of the crown games and the right use of power, right? Not uh, making a split, an ego trip, right? And affecting the children. With the empress and the benefactor and the sharing of the feast or the bridge at night or happy days and family life. So somebody might be watching happy days on TV. With Sophia in winter's dream gestation period and gestation again coming up as the GE station, the energy station or the CG with a circle around it was showing me like the gas station symbol is CG for the Christ God energy. The G of the uh, crown games was the CG owning aims or owning your intent in the right use of power in the dance um, In the right use of power, in oh, and to dance to your heart's content. And then, you know, it's great exercise and it makes you happy and smile. That's raising your vibration. So in right use of power, dance to your heart's content. Cuddling up in the mushroom with good facts or grace and generosity. With the one, two, three jump and the knight of cups to the empress. At 9.20, which is the Hermit and the Wake Up Call of the Judgment card, the first card out here was the Heart Home of the HH energy, which they come together, I showed you the other day, is the two dead ends with the one in the middle, which is the same thing as writing 1-1, one -one, right? That one-to-one -one, uh, conversation, perhaps. Or the quantum leap as well between you, right? You have that constant communication between you. The 27 of the Ace of Wands, Compassion. Well, then the cards 3 and 27 were back-to-back, -back, which equals 30 of the Ohm. The 1953 of Sunshine and the Knight of Swords of um, which add up to 72. I didn't add them up then, but they just guided me to do that. So that's 72, and I just told you 72 kept coming up. Um, Taurus and Leo and the Falling Angel, blinded by the light, and the stranger who's curious about what's down there with laser hand focus and wanting to tap into their deep emotions in the springs of the cave and then seal came up which is really interesting because um, one of the goddesses that came up was the goddess of springs like over i think it was um astera or i'm not saying it, astra i think was the guide guide of the springs so the springs came up literally the hot springs and that came up for me personally as well um sunshine and that could be a guide you know guidance from our guides that hot springs would be very therapeutic for us at this time the knight of wands taurus and leo and falling angel blinded by the light and the stranger curious about what's down there in the springs with laser hand focus wanting to tap into their deep emotions and then seal came up or breaking the seal in the hot springs the 29 of 45 present to the horned cactus of resourcefulness the prickly one repairing the veil Binding pages back together, top down, with a bow or a bow. And I was just getting Madonna. Take a bow. And it always makes me cry, that song. Because that's when she broke up with Sean Penn. The show is over. Say goodbye. I've always been in love with you. Right? So that's coming up from Madonna. And Spirit's connecting with me. Um... The show is over. Say goodbye. So top down with bow or taking a bow after tying it back together, top down after being all undone, right? It's like corseting it back together, bringing the pages back together with articulation space between the binding of the book. At 928 is the hermit and the 28 of the twin flames or choice of path in forgiveness, gift of purging and articulation of speaking up. So this quarter for 2023, the cards came up the world, the page of pentacles, the chariot and the magician, the whole, the complete divine feminine, the Pisces March, which is in the first quarter, marching with twin DNA strands, au naturel, 
as the Page of Pentacles is studying or checking the angles of travel, a move, with tools to manifest. Pisces, Cancer, uh, Virgo, or Gemini here, you may be adding another child to the bunch. And that could be having your own child or just, you know, bringing in a friend. So, and actually, I don't know if I am now while well, my son's visiting. But besides that, I think my daughter's going to end up, um, her friend, when they move, she may have to come here and stay here for a bit. So you could have like extended kids coming to stay with you or getting to know more kids because that may be your job. Maybe that's your mission. So that's part of the second quarter. And I'll summarize them at the end. But the 2023, 23 is the King of Wands. The year adds up to seven, which is the energy of the K and W of the King of Wands, of the energy of two U's. And K, which is energy. And again, the calm before the storm of the seven, which is also the gamma key or gamma ray. The Saggy Capricorn shift that we're in now and the Mercury retrograde, where Mercury and Venus are in Capricorn as well as the sun now in Capricorn too. So very cappy energy there. Now I have a lot of Capricorn, so that's kind of comfortable for me, but I tend to like Sagittarius better actually when we're in Sagittarius. But, um, and like I said, Capricorn can be very depressed. They're very hard workers, but the other side of that coin is, is um, depression. So um, I have, moon, my moon is in Capricorn, so I know Capricorn very well. And I have my, uh, my Saturn and Jupiter conjunct in Capricorn which was very significant for the big conjunction that happened a couple years ago. So at 934, which is the hermit and the 34 of the energetic exchange, the arrows of love, the underlying energy of the three of the empress celebrating differences between people. And again, here comes up the dolphin versus the unicorn, the unicorn of the water, the dolphin, excuse me, the unicorn of the land, the dolphin of the water, and the 46 of the little girl and the unicorn. And again, whatever little ones are around you, whether it's children, pets, or other energies. With gratitude and appreciation and rainbows around the sun, the 12 of expansion of stepping it up. So maybe your son needs to have rainbows intended around him. And actually, there's a, my daughter gave me a picture of the, rain, the rainbow around the sun when she was in Florida a couple years ago. So there's that energy of that. So it's like the rainbow my daughter gave me. I was just being guided to put it around my son because he's sick right now. So maybe you're guided to use that same kind of visualization. We have the 12 of the Hanging Man expansion of he stepping it up, the divine mask and hand reaching out with dear one and little girl, the 46 and the 12 adding up to 58 here or the 5D connection, and the two mountains hand fasting in a breakthrough and a leap of faith and transformation as the butterfly dives, dives deep into rough waters with the flock, along with the other ones, the little ones, and the 47 of the little boy avatars who are noticing synchronicities and having fun with it, playing with the clouds with laughter and thunder rolls. And they keep talking about the thunder rolls too, because that's what I experienced when I was in, uh, that's not why the thunder rolls came up, but it's exactly what happened when I was in the south of France with the Mary, with um, Mercedes Kirkle trip. And she does the Mary Magdalene baptism at the end of the trip where the fresh and the salt waters meet. And when she baptized me, one thunder rolled. And that was it. There was no rain. There wasn't any more thunder. And everybody was like, what? What? It was pretty cool. So um, this that same energy of the thunder rolls, but they keep showing me that card with the little boys riding their avatars with wings, right? And they keep showing me that the boys need the horses. They're connecting to the horses as an avatar for wings, where the feminines have the wings already uh, built in their humanness. Um, the little boy avatars are dancing in the clouds, causing the storms down here, having fun doing it. They're triggering us, just like my little girl said I like to trigger. It's the same energy of the little boys, the masculines triggering, now connecting with the synchronicities and having fun with it. And having fun, especially triggering people, as you can imagine, the masculines would. Playing in the clouds with laughter and thunder rolls as the 10 of destiny of high vibe and opening your heart to those high vibe energies of swan love with the little imps up to something, but something sweet and the 17 of infinite blessings of fairy dust snow falling, which we had for the first time today, it didn't stick and the 30 of adventure or did it stick? No, I think that's just the street. 
the third of adventure of bridging two mountains with the third rock from the sun and is the third rock the earth or the moon and romance coming up here with atlas morocco and hercules spain and again the spain is referencing the rock of gibraltar because that came up here to the rock of england with lots of computer storage or ai inside because there's a lot of computer storage inside the rock of gibraltar so the advent tour home ohm with second coming the sun home to union he with dreams of a sun and travel plans bridging mountains with shells and algae or spanish mermaid his maiden jesus's maid and um named hercules so hercules besides being her harvest is her q of the l and then es the l being that leap to es which i believe one of the definitions is home to leap home at last for atlas so her cue to leap home at last with map of intent to shift gears to bridge with body ship or your body lying in the shell or seaweed is seal and graying tower alone on the sea which is a kiss from a from a rose a seahorse mermaid and seaweeding the dark side of me love on high still but did you know when it snows which is the time in the winter when the feminine is not getting any sun my eyes become large and the light that you shine can't be seen a kiss from a rose on the gray in bloom its light hits the gloom on the gray side of the purple moon you remain my power my pleasure my pain like a growing addiction i can't deny but is that healthy can you answer that question the rock of gibraltar is the altar the gray tower as the milky way of england merges right the milkiness that properness of england merges with andromeda and pegasus who come as a pair because they share a star andromeda as the drama of the father or cepheus right the father with the drama queen mother who got her in trouble and got tied to the rock where the king of ethiopia or joppa or jeffa in phoenicia and cassiopeia was the wife the queen the drama queen and the issues with poseidon where the king chained andromeda to the rock by the shore and again we're getting the rock of gibraltar here and perseus saved her and married her as peg as us they gave their first son Perseus to Cepheus so that he could have an heir because he didn't have any sons which became the Persian people and then Pegasus is coming up here as the seal in the the springs right the ones watching over the springs or Perseus the centaur people so here um Perseus becomes Pegasus as the centaur the half human half horse with wings so here where the masculine gains his wings where the feminine already has her wings the divine masculine coming into his divine feminine to be able to be with andromeda self-contained the aquarius part of alignment so in the valley with the shadow comes the fairy dust over the land as it just did here today and the starry night with calm and dry at the rock stone site the rock of gibraltar which is also lady liberty with the altar over here and again the two altars connecting england here and france and here the bridge sagging and arching or arcing at the same time or the sign waving or swaying up and down back and forth in this in the queen's wave of course of course says mr ed exposing the hovercraft and in the sun the 43 of coming together which by the way 43 is my son's uh, soul number coming together as love matters as one ship sails and one flying one opens up to reveal another plane or level of themselves at 1019 which is the 10 of the wheel of fortune the 19 of the sun in the cotton fields which references the clouds of them playing in the clouds on their avatars the 31 to be spontaneous and reach out to the sunny side up right so the side of the moon that reflects the sun the five and the 25 of the freedom of the knight of wands to clear out the old 
to keep your dreams alive. So the five of the freedom of the avatars, the 25 is the knight of wands, right? The guy's playing, having a good time. At 1021 is the wheel of fortune in the world, the 33, 39, and two, to be gentle with yourself, with the Christ consciousness, the knight of cups with clear endeavors of a winter wonderland and letting go of the attachment to the springs. With Russian princess or in a rush with a twinkle in her eye, we had Leo and Taurus coming together here and the two of illumination of the divine feminine or higher self or daughter on the way to the dark side of the moon with butterfly assistance or taxi service, cancer or Pisces here and saggy baby perhaps, that could be a, a pet as well, or perhaps a teddy bear to help keep your dreams alive. So the message for 2023 that came up with this deck in the third quarter was the six of cups of the innocent children and the high priestess or higher self Right, that divine feminine energy of the higher self and the queen of swords, Lady Liberty. What a beautiful energy of those energies merging together, right? Lady Liberty with her higher self. The soulmate twin, the divine masculine with higher self, queen of swords, Pisces, Virgo, or um, uh, Cancer, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm sorry, no. Pisces, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Lady Liberty here. The underlying energy at 1027 of the Wheel of Fortune, the 27 of the Ace of Wands, and the 54 of the Page of Swords, Mercury energy, which is retrograde right now. The lilac message from the Castle on Cloud 9, the Purple Moon. The Queen of Wands 24, Omega, which is the feminine ego, in orange, to stretch and lunge to release that energy as high vibe new dawn comes upon them with Leo and Libra energy rays in the valley with the 38 of the Queen of Cups with activated light body powering up the lion's heart. So the Queen of Cups is powering up the heart of the lion. The 41 as above so below reflecting compassion and self-love as the 55 of the Red Shaman with healing hands, safety, strength and power with clear pipes and peace pipes and teepees as well, and how healing collective awakening on this planet, the Empress flowering with transformation of light and dark. The first card here of the eight of leadership dance with the flame in hand, three keys in the other, or the three keys of alchemy. Once you hit Capricorn, you have to pass the three keys before you become the alchemist. Answering the call to spiral up, the four to seven, heart to crown of the feminine, where the masculine starts at the root in their sexuality, moving up to the heart. The feminine starts in the heart, moving up to the crown. Blessing and thanks, heart to crown with abundant universe, where she collects the sun and he takes the flame in the opening ceremonies with the celebration feast. In the horned basket, trumpeting the dragon's breath, the pyramid, which is the fire in their belly, with the sacred solar momentum of the Holy Grail to get to the hearth or the heart of things. At 1040 of that high vibe destiny in the Page of Cups, where there was two cards here, the 16 and the 52 of the Tower of the Queen of Swords. And again, in the Kiss from a Rose represents the gray tower of the Queen of Swords, Lady Liberty, perhaps where Rapunzel lies. The gold, I was just getting Goldie Hawn, <laughs> the gold of the Holy Grail to spiral infinitum, to big bird, the pyramid of the fire within and with golden wings though here, where the dragon is needing something nourishing to eat so they don't have that dragon's breath, a cup of replush, replenishment for their priorities at 1047 of that sweet spot of going from their heart to their crown. When the dragon eats right, they get less orangey red and more golden to light up the grid. He gets nourishment from her access to the sun, so make sure in the winter you get out and see the sun. 2023 message here was the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands, and then the, um, the Queen of Wands was the energy right there, partnering with the Knight of Wands. So attention to the small in the first quarter, marching into spring, the Divine Mouse and opening up to the springs in the second quarter and spooning in June. Most action comes up here in the third quarter with Atlas and Hercules, Andromeda and Pegasus, as the Divine Masson becomes self-contained with wings, half horse, half man, and she's beautiful angel with wings. 
in the fourth quarter's opening ceremonies and the passing of the last baton, the scepter from September or 7 to the October 8, November 9, and December 10 began again in seven year September, which 2023 is, September or the scepter of the seven and the embers or the letter M of co-creation and burr months, the quiet calm at 1111 before the storm in the 11th hour of the year number eight, 2024. And the queen of wands is fury is the energy I was coming up. So 23 is the king of wands, which is the calm before the storm. And then the eight comes up as the queen of wands energy as the queen of wands fury and is coming up as like, um, um, what should I call it? I'm just blanking out on the, the warrior female. It's in the uh, journey of love deck. Okay. So the collection collect. So the, the calm before the storm is the collection of keys and rays going from seven year to the eight year. So seven, four, eight. So then I looked up the number seven for eight it was very interesting. Number 748. The first entry was Josh, which is funny because I grew up next to a Josh. We used to play in his playhouse. Um, and there's other Josh references here, but again, Yeshua. So Josh is the first entry here. To stay inside is number two. The third is Olaf Schultz, S-C-H-O-L-Z. The fourth is John McAfee. Then all roads lead to Katarina P. Then sister, sister. And then I am Yashua, Y-A-H-S-H-U-A. Number eight, the fourth horseman. And I definitely have a reference to that in the other entries that came in already. The fourth horseman, as we go from year seven to eight, then, and that was the eighth entry. My mission is nine, um, Relax and code what did I write there? Clace C E D at I was the tenth entry. You can look up seven forty eight if you want in the Gematria. I don't know if it says relax and code or something else. Rel relaxin maybe? Relax and code. I don't know what it says, but you can look that up. Okay. So the eleventh entry was Mashiach ben Yosef. So that's M A S H I A C H and ben Y O S E F. The twelfth entry is shortly, and then take home, heal, return. Thirteen. The seventeenth entry was the reason for gematria. The eighteenth was the ruler of the heart. The nineteenth was the astral body, which is the star, the sun. The twenty of God. The old. Oh, not God, but 20 is good old Germany. So the Germany's maybe, Germans may be coming up this year, whatever is going on as our drama for this year. 21 is God is amazing. 22 is Jenny Kim. 23, which is this year coming up, was the Supreme Cipher. And the 24 of the Bodyguard, which keeps coming up as the Wounded Warrior, either defending somebody else or defending their own wounds. Uh, 25 came up as the Meaning of Numbers. 26, John Dean. 27, AB blood belongs to archangels. 28 was Sagittarius God, which I would say uh, the birthday is December 7th and 13th or that week. 29 is the zero and 38 is the return to her. 39th entry was the skyrocket and 43rd entry was the exit stage left. And then 44 was the return to home at 11.22 of alignment and justice in the 22, the fool's journey of bringing the good news in. The 45 of uh, Streets Rider, 46 was the Curious Girl, or just Curious Girl, and then 47 was the last one I wrote down was, I can hear her truth. And 47 is the sweet spot of four to seven of the heart to the crown. As he arrives at the heart, she arrives to the crown, where then they can directly connect. Um, so now we go back to 
the seven deck read on the table, and it's 144 here. We're about to go to 145, which is when the time I was born was 44 to 45. So here is the seven deck read, and it's 512 now, which is the freedom, change, and expansion of the 12, which is turned to 13, which is the transition. So going from the hangman of wisdom to the 13 of the transition and Ophiacus to the other side. And this one, as I show you the pictures here, here's the main read with the Syrian starseed deck that's on the table. And then um, here is the whole read that's on the table here. The seven decks. So at 601 was the cut, six being the lovers, one is the magician. For 12, 23, 2022, which is today, and the 23 of the new year. At 624, which 24 is written that way, 24, 6, is the Queen of Wands again, and the lovers, or the family. And the uh, major arcana here that came up were the wheel, the great wheel, ascension, which is the world, guidance, which is the hierophant, abundance, which is the empress, and star seed, which is the fool. Before the reed was justice, the shadow, or the devil, and reason, which is the emperor. So we had both the emperor and the empress here. And then after the reed was transition, or the death card, with alchemy, which is the temperance card, and then chariot. Three pentacles, one wand, two swords. Okay, there was no cups in the main cards anyway. Um, the queen of pentacles, as I whistled right there, was the main um, card in the reed. The King of Pentacles came up before the read, and after the read was the King and Queen of Swords. And that was interesting, too, because I told you already the couples kept coming up together. So here they are, too, the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Swords. And they came up together in another read I did as well. Uh, we have 22 and 77 is the double numbers here. 22 is the Fool's Journey, 77 is the Sovereign. And 7 and 7 came up next to each other in the read, I believe, in this one as well. Um, we also had the numbers 1... And so 1, 2 is 12, so the Hanging Man came up here, as well as the um, 67 of the Knight of Pentacles, 6, 7, 8, lay them straight, the 78 of the Ten of Pentacles of that abundant family or heaven on earth, the 26 of the Page of Wands, the 27 of the Ace of Wands, and then the 810, which is zero or source energy, backing up the 81 of the end of karma around the world. So uh, self-love. And it's like the around the world in 80 days plus one, which is the leap. Self-love is the code line here and all about the number 87, which is the reverse of 78, the end of the deck and the Ten of Pentacles. The reflection of heaven and earth, on earth. And what is the reflection of that if we're going to deal with those energies of the devil, right? So 87 reduces to 15 slash 6. And so to 78, right? So there's that energy of the shadow side that wants to be seen there. When you get to the ultimate energy of 78, then there's, you know, going to be a shadow aspect that needs to be controlled there when you're dealing with your thoughts. So the code lines here, the messages came out here regarding self-love. I am source mother, the pod with the key, that 698 pod with the key, the two peas in a pod, which is the twin flame two-eyed needle um, energy of the push and pull, the twin flame energy of the quantum energy, the dancing chariot ascending the woe of the planet or the woof, the bark or the dog or the star seed here in self-love. The feminine black or the dark mother, that can be the black sheep coming up here as well, and the sap or the essence of life within them Raising up the world's woes, the human reflection or star seed. And again, the energy of I, Tim, again coming up with the black and absorbing all the light. And again, Tim being that source energy of co creation. And the, the thing that brought up black sheep was I, Tim is black, but then Natupa is sheep. So I, Tim Natupa is black sheep. And then Atimat came up as well. So there's a definitions for that as well as Tima, which is again t Tim with A on the end, and then ITI, which is the co-creation 
but instead of the V in the middle, which is creation, this is the star in the middle of the double diamond star of the twin flames creating that nova star, which is that um, is that energy of, of the star of Bethlehem and also the, the um, Heros Gamos energy of coming together, right? It literally ra raises the energy and exponentially, not just by two, but, but by a third as well. And I always get the, that twin flame energy comes in instead of, instead of a thousand suns at the crown, comes up as 3,000 crowns, 3,000 crowns. So we have the eight of pentacles starting this, the eight of pentacles reversed, which is the underlying energy over here. I'm going to move this over for you a little bit so you can see that. Okay, with the little cards on top. Um, so that top card is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And two, the movie that came up yesterday, what was it called? Um, 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 um. So there's two movies. There's a Christmas movie, and that was... It was so funny because the guy in the Christmas movie, who's just negative all the time, his name is Chewy. His nickname is Chewy, and that's my son's nickname, too, because he couldn't say Matthew when he was little. He says Chewy. Um, not that it references my son at all, but his name never comes up in movies, right? Because that's not a, I, mean, I guess it's common for Matthews, but it's not that common. I, don't, I never hear it. So it's funny that it came up, and I was talking about my son today. So it's that energy about the son, the masculine divine energy. And again, maybe Chewbacca is coming up as well. The other that came up that I actually really liked, and I didn't think I would, because the guy is a real jerk in the beginning of the movie, but uh, Tara versus Bilal, it was actually really good. If you like romantic movies. So um, uh, here is the message here from the seven deck read. Um, the other messages that came through from the code line were trust, confidence, and belief without the top dog, strength of essence ascending, strength of chariot in the upside down world, the dysfunction of the family in knowing that you are the star seed or the dog, woof, and again, this energy of accepting self-love or loving yourself in order to raise your vibration to not be the dog, but to, to be the dog, the sweet dog, but not the dog, the horn dog. Um, but again, that starseed energy. Um, I trick, so the trick or treat energy coming up here, but I trick, I cheat, or there's fearfulness here as well. I top dog, I am the divine feminine mother dancing to manifest the divine feminine within the mask and ascending in the chariot, the vehicle or the water vehicle of ascension, your human bodies, to use human of or starseed or loudspeaker that produces low frequency sound or in other words a dog so the dog's bark can be a low frequency sound especially if it's ferocious right the sun mother dance with key to ascension the awareness of the star seed and the choice of self-love that is always a choice if you're if you feel your vibration lowering to go back into your inner child to ask what your inner child needs to raise your vibration to make them happy so the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Below that was the Justice card upright, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, Shadow reversed, Reason or the Emperor reversed, and the King of Pentacles reversed. So the Justice of the Ten of Pentacles reversed is function or loss of the family, business, or community in detoxing the Emperor reversed and their unreasonableness with the King of Pentacles reversed or both are out of control, overworking or not working out. So this could be um, you know, issues with being a workaholic, or getting off for the holidays, or just things aren't working out. So the justice of the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles both reversed here, or Libra, Capricorn, Aries, all reversed, not working, or all about the money, or presence, or justice of detoxing their um, their unreasonableness and not working out. And there's a lot of that energy from that Christmas movie that came up. Again, the, the naysayer at Christmas, right? Working hard or burdened, almost done or carrying too much weight or slaving for the queen of cups without choice failure to share or under the radar inequity here to be erased at 707 
so the queen of pentacles reversed maybe unhappy without their lover or without affection passing a message or delivery at night or in romance or to cancer knight of cups upright without tools or insecure perhaps um, giving to the evil king of swords reversed And there's that reference with the King of Swords to the Magician reverse. So that's not nice energy when they're both reversed because that could be someone lying. It can be someone who's just in negative self-talk and insecure, which can lead to someone super manipulative and dangerous. With the Queen of Wands upright here, though, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family dysfunction or loss, drained in a split or divided and lying to the Page of Pentacles student or perhaps an earth child here or an invitation. There may be at 719, which is the chariot and the sun, there, that's Cancer and Leo. So there could be a child who's out of control here in a split or lying to the page of pentacles or um, there's this energy of digging out the crown to get their crown to open, pulling out a coin or getting, doing magic tricks. There ain't no sunshine when they're gone or the page of pentacles who's threatening the sun. Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Gemini, or Virgo, and King of Swords and Leo, Queen of Wands, all reversed right there. All of them. The King of Pentacles reversed, not working out with the Page of Pentacles upright and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there's all this Pentacle family here. Page is upright, but the King and Queen are reversed. Offering love, the, they may be offering love, perhaps the Emperor reversed is being insincere, standing up for themselves, overworking, or over the Queen of Pentacles reversed, or not working out, and over the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Healing family issues, and below that was express your love. With the energetic exchange, perhaps with a pain in the ass, or an ending pain, or a painful ending with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, stuck, or being stubborn, refusing to work or move. And that could be someone going on strike as well. The Ten of Cups upright, happy family, or that sham fam energy that looks happy, but it's not on the inside whether the emperor's reversed, whether they're happy or not. The knight of pentacles and the emperor both reversed may be at odds with each other. Looking, Somebody's looking at their, the woman's thighs and offering something healthy, but then that offer is rejected and then they're sent out like the errand boy. Or the knight of pentacles reversed may be on strike, expecting the emperor reversed to do all the work this time. Or men unhappy, Stuck with the Ten of Cups family, maybe the women are expecting the men to do all the work this time. With parenting 63 and karmic completion of the Ten of that high vibe energy to raise that vibration and not suffer or not hide, the suffering and silence of parenting and after karmic completion with perhaps the deception here or getting up too early in the morning, dumping emotional attachments or multiple loathes, or just getting real about things, right? Finding the right one and getting rid of the rest. Or whatever's not fair, not sharing the inequity, and then recovering or going out for a walk. Triumphing over karma and being happy with self as the king of cups. Right? That energy of someone who's just joyful in their own head, which is so much my son. Cancer and Libra reverse balancing act, where engines are pumping, taking down the field, and meeting your fairy godfather, perhaps to teach you a lesson. Um, there's something else came up and I just lost it, but So oh, what I was getting, the wound around Christmas, right? There's always this hype for Christmas Day, and then there's always somebody who doesn't like what they got, right? And then dealing with that stuff, you know, and after all the presents you had to get, right? Because everyone expects to get a whole bunch of presents. So the King of Cups upright not working for the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Emperor reverse, who may be parenting. The King of Cups is happy here, though. So he definitely looks like he's off. Or maybe he's off from parenting. Maybe he babysits. And that could be a grandparent too. So there's, um, 
The recent past here is the Seven of Wands upright of rising to tango and stand up for oneself, to come clean or being uncomfortable with the Page of Pentacles of divorce or Taurus reversed Page of Pentacles upright and the Nine of Pentacles reversed or two dependents knowing and keeping to themselves to detox justice or with Libra with um, Capricorn and Taurus in their chart perhaps uncomfortable knowing and not telling or coming together to juggle or perform with crazy person you know again the, the relative who always you know you can't have a conversation with that kind of energy or again it could be somebody who's got dementia or Alzheimer's but you have to sit next to them this year you know so again coming together to juggle or with the crazy person or coming out to find peace with yourself the foundation of the Queen of Pentacles reverse juggling performing to face your fears of a split divide or lies and ignoring others need for clarity the three of swords reversed and healing a connection by announcing a wake-up call or just calling the central energy of the wheel upside down and energetic exchange of back and forth or travel and perhaps you broke down or got stuck or the something wrong with the car or perhaps there's traffic that's not in your favor which I was so happy my my son showed up really early this morning and I'm so glad because the weather was just awful but he probably got the worst of it um, reaping rewards of dreaming being free to leap from patience and empress or Aries upright Sag upright Taurus upright here at 747 the chariot and the 4047 of the seven of cups of the synchronicities and heaven in your eyes at Christmas time the challenge being ascension or the world completion coming full circle the divine feminine Pisces energy and the high priestess getting over the king of wands and that ten of pentacles reverse dysfunction or ending um, some kind of loss or pain that was experienced or a painful mass or a pain in the ass as maybe you have to go to church and you don't want to go around the world or neighborhood or a breakup dissatisfied seeing synchronicities or too many options here um, or maybe trying to pick out a present for someone at the last minute and it's, it's tough because you don't know what to get them and you know you have all this stuff in front of you Again, patience in the energetic exchange with the Ten of Cups on guard. <coughs> As I wanted to sneeze. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so the dysfunction of ending pain or a painful ending or a pain in the ass around the world or neighborhood breakup with this that dissatisfaction seeing synchronicities are just too many options. And right at this time when I was writing this down, Teddy was dreaming and woofing, going, oh, woof, woof. So woof is definitely coming up here. And that could be woofers as well if you have speakers going. Patience and energetic exchange or the arrows of love or just a lot of energy going back and forth with the Ten of Cups family on guard with the chariot or cancer energy or the car and travel. The Page of Wands excited to see the High Priestess or Pisces Page of Cups reversed. Or that could be... Um, someone who's very vulnerable or shy or someone who's spoiled and entitled and that can be the same both energies in one child or adult that can also be the energy of rejection or fe just feeling vulnerable and now is the two of swords floating on air crowning here the knight of wands leaving behind the ace of wands reversed or lack of growth or perhaps um, a quickening <laughs> Teddy's right behind me sniffing my hair so the ace of wands is reversed here which is frustration and a lack of arousal right a need of inspiration and growth or perhaps an offer of creativity or sex we have manifestation no longer alone released from anxiety or at least the king of cups is happy and Chewy's home Gemini or Virgo unaware after insecure and clingy at night healing or Gemini Scorpio reversed cancer Aquarius is upright here the wounded warrior surrendering or giving up with withholding and saving in order to recover peaceful travels and making love but there ain't no sunshine when she's gone no big love at work with issues going on and the Queen of Swords in sudden jealous rage or the King here could be as well in a losing battle or Scorpio with page of wands perhaps we're excited 
but things didn't go their way, no groups, no pursuit of happiness. And again, that could be someone who doesn't feel like it, they're tired from traveling or they're sick and they just want to rest. And soon here's the Ace of Swords reversed in a split or being divided with the Queen of Swords upright, the King of Swords reversed with the happy family on break and the sudden events or sudden jealous rage with the King of Swords reversed um, or the Queen of Wands looking the other way. The twin flames seeing themselves as the Seven of Pentacles, the Divine Feminine's heart in the E Tower with the message of cutting the Emperor reversed off and the chariot bold move to end the nightmare with the knight of swords coming in to end the prison, the anxiety, and needing strength to deal with work issues perhaps. And that could be third energies at work as well. Calling in your soulmate, codependencies here, as well as forgiving and learning and family issues there and engagement, something uh, raising up to the next level. Around the twins are how they're seen is the guidance card reversed. So there could be a divorce there or just no guidance, or Taurus reversed, or the Hermit reversed, rejected the King of Pentacles reversed. So Taurus and Virgo both reversed on this card with the Page of Cups reversed between them. So there could be a child or uh, pet energy that's coming between the Taurus reversed and the Virgo reversed. And that can be someone with Taurus in their chart, not their sun sign. And then Virgo reversed again with uh, as that being in their chart, but not their sun sign or rising because they tend to come up upright. So bad memories of difficult kids or a falling out or kids out of control hanging out or seeing new perspectives or views with Leo reversed and Pisces or Capricorn reversed and the block here being the Empress upright, the abundance of the mother's love present to the Knight of Cups offering love to the Three of Cups to come together in joy with self-love but even more so spiritual partnership but not getting their wish, perhaps, or just unhappy alone, wanting to now be with somebody else. The Page of Swords leaning on the truth, the star seed, the fool, with a big download, starting over and seeing synchronicities. Moving to peace in the never-ending story, alchemizing a bold move to surrender to all that is, with the Queen of Swords, Lady Liberty, and the King of Swords reversed, starting over and letting go in order to fix things or make amends with someone at 812, which is the dance of hanging out or the hangman. So, and again, remember, these are the cards in the beginning of the Knight of Cups offering love to the Queen of Cups with the wounded warrior and then the world, the neighborhood, Pisces, divine feminine energies there. And let's go ahead. Let me, I'll pull you a journey of love card. I haven't been doing that lately. So for the twin flames, our takeaway today at 535 on the clock, which is freedom, change and expansion along with the wounded warriors energies. So perhaps freeing themselves at 20750 it just was. Again, there's that reverse of the 7-2, the 2-7, and then 50, which is the 10 of cups of emotional fulfillment, the happy family. 7 and 2 are the chariot and the higher self or high priestess, divine feminine. And what do we have from the journey of love? What is our takeaway for the messages today? the lovers and the healing with the 57. We also have the 28 of the twin flame sacred convergence and I always get this like an ice pop popping up from the 9-11 memorial with the Pleiadians on stage projecting themselves and there's like a light show or a white show. <laughs> so again that's coming up the Statue of Liberty and the lovers at the altar of Lady Liberty and this, this card came up right after that the, the union of the 30 and the towering magnificence of the mighty sentinels uh, coming to see the altar. I was getting altered states and alter egos. And the last card that's coming out here is the 44 of Hercules and rings of time. And again, there may be parents that you're dealing with like children. And again, there's this thought energy there of the messenger, the intellectual, right? The old way of being right, with the bird mind of being the intellectual as opposed to in your heart. But again, the energy of 3D and aging and um, experience that you've had over a lifetime, the 44 of the Hercules energy of the social worker, 
and also the Four of Cups of learning how to receive love. So when you're put in a wheelchair as an old person, you now have to let other people love you and take care of you, which a lot, you know, a lot of people don't like that. They're not comfortable with that at first. And then we have this wasn't coming out before, but coming together is next. So this is the 66 of the Golden Gates, the spiraling of the Rose Heart, and the Queen of Pentacles. And coming together. So come together is another Beatles song to the 26th, so the year 26 coming up here too with the Guardian of the Soul family, which is the Page of Cups, that sweet, innocent inspiration. The bottom of the deck here is the Earth Angel blanketing the Earth, the 54, again, of the Mercury Messenger. The Page of Swords, which can be uh, coming up as well, well, Gabriel, Thoth, all of those Mercury energies, as well as the, the twins of Mercury, of uh, Mercury twins, Gemini and Virgo. So again, the communicator of Mercury, the messenger, and then the purifier of Virgo. The underlying energy of the seed of the heart, the 25 of the Knight of Wands, that puts the question in your heart, right? It's the right question that you need. And then the Page of Swords. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords and the underlying energy, right? The one, the Knight of Wands, lights the fire under your butt, gets you going to go be active. And then the Page of Swords brings the message, or is the fire and earth, or fire and uh, air child. So let's see what message that is for the lovers for you, since that was the first card coming up. And again, that was the 57 of the healing, the heartbreak, the separation, the disappointment, coming together with the 28 of the Twin Flames, Choice of Path, the 30 of the Union, the 44 of Her Harvest, and then reading the 57 of the lovers. Yes, it's love. Oh, that's interesting. I had, wrote when I first had this book. I would write dates of when I would go back and pick certain cards, and December 23rd is on here. That was back in 2016, which is what six years ago. Yeah. So yes, it's love. It drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. It makes the mind mad with misunderstanding and breaks it open into enlightened compassion. It is love. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. This oracle brings a message of love, love, and love. It is finding you now. Be open to it in all its forms. Be the god and the goddess of love and paint the town red. Play in passionate embrace with life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believe you're capable of handling. Love is a magic sword that holds the universe together. It is both an emotion and something ephemeral that lives like a fire's glow or the pink light on the clouds after the sun has set. It is alive and yet undefinable. It causes the heart to beat more rapidly, feelings to show, and young people to write, sing, and dance, and become totally immersed in its hold. Love can, be, can beckon coyly or flaunt itself with wanton abandon. Love can live and grow seemingly forever or vanish in a fleeting moment when we least suspect. And in the twilight of our years, reflecting on the life we have lived, it is love which colors every turn and twist of our memory. And when we pass from this earthly plane, it will be love that will light our soul on its journey home. So very good. And now I want to sing Come Together right now over me. And I want to pull an unknown wild, unknown card for you. So why do I have to pull a wild unknown card? What is it I need to know? What is it we need to know? What is the message from the wild unknown guidebook? The golden egg, the nest egg, the golden child, the Christ consciousness. And the Merkaba coming up in there too. And there's the crocodile next to the net. Right? They can't smell it. And Teddy's right next to me sniffing around. What are you trying to figure out, Teddy? Can't figure out where that smell is coming from? Ah, I know what that's from. So again, there may be a crock around you trying to sniff out your nest egg. But again, there's this energy of cutting off their nose to spite their face. Or they just have no sense of smell. So maybe if you don't know who this person is, they have no sense of smell. Maybe they have an issue with smelling.
It can be too, like um, maybe they smell something but they can't see it. So it's driving them crazy because they don't know what it is. So either which way that is. And then we have the swans here reflecting and the hyena on the other side of that, like slithering away. And again, there's the black egg on this side, right? The, this is the black sheep of the family. And the wise egg over there. And there's the vulture, that's the old eagle. And we have the uh, cobra. Cobra Kai was coming up earlier too. So um, the dragon's on the bottom, which is like, this is the, um, the solar plexus chakra energy in this deck. So again, it's your higher self kind of energy, right? Overseeing what's going on with you. It's a positive energy, very strong. Um, you know, protecting your inner child, the one who's going within, purging perhaps, or, you know, taking a mask off. And there's very much wolf energy here. So maybe dog or wolf energy or that kind of animal energy that you need to oversee. Maybe you have one. I saw the cutest little video of a baby raccoon um, on Instagram today. It was so cute. The guy who raised him and they were helping he was they were helping him build in his construction business. Um, so there's wolf energy here, dog energy, raccoon energy, the masked energy, and then also big brother here with the dragon there but this is not reptilian energy this is more like your higher self like what you would see if you looked at your eyes really close in the mirror that is your energy and besides we're we're all mutts we have a mixture of all different et energies within our systems and our dna so here's the crocodile egg so maybe you don't have to worry about the golden egg over here because really the wise egg is over here and that's with the eagle the wise old eagle uh, watching over with the cobra teacher who's like a like a hawk you know they won't they won't let their eyes off of this one here and this one's slithering away they know they can't get to th with these guys here so again this may be um, a ruse too like or a um, like a trojan horse or something but in a reverse way right to get the bad guy to be attracted to something that's nothing and again there's this reflecting energy here and this could be reflecting two negative energies over here, right? Wanting the gold. And so they disguised it as the black egg, right? The black sheep of the family. And it's being guarded by a wise one, the old eagle here, or perhaps a grandparent energy here. And this is also comes up as the teacher, the cobra. And this is again, the illumination of the master. So maybe it's the uh, the truth is the black egg, right? So the golden egg here is the heart chakra, but the dot at the top is black in this card. It's not color, is it? Yeah, this one's, they're both black dots at the top, I suppose. I didn't notice that before in this card. But um, it's the heart chakra and the throat chakra. And again, this energy of negative energies reflecting each other regarding trying to get at the nest egg, the golden egg, or the golden child. This could also be something that never manifested, you know, like a plant that you were trying to grow and then it died. So like they're going after it, but you know, as luck would have it, uh, it's not there anymore. It, it could it didn't survive so like go ahead have at it it's kind of like that energy here but again they're whatever they're they're watching they're wisely watching this and they're not being all extravagant about it as in the gold egg normally this comes up as more of a po more positive energy and it's still a positive energy here but again referencing um you know not advertising something shiny so that all the negative energies will come toward it you know, disguising it as something simple, like, you know, the, the Jesus cup where it's actually just clay on the outside and gold on the inside so that you can drink out of it. All right. So those are the energies that came up for you. But the first one was your heart, right? That's your Christ consciousness, your heart and the DNA. And again, the energy of the truth coming up here, the wise truth. You need to feel into your heart for that truth, like not just from your head, right? Because your brain lies to you. So just remember to stay in your heart. 
maybe what it's also a reference to you know hunker down in your nest especially if you're having bad weather right now and again your higher self is keeping an eye on things here on your on your little ones or your own inner self there okay so focus on your heart I'm getting to, you know how your pets look in the mirror? <laughs> they have no idea why they're seeing themselves in the mirror. I'm getting that energy too. Perhaps your pets are just being funny. And allow that humor to come in. Such a wonderful energy to have around. Okay, guys, I'll let you go. So remember your water, your rest, your joy, your nature, to follow your own guidance. You know what to do. Breathe. Can't be conscious, you know, of your present moments so that you don't fly off the handle at somebody. Remember when you walk out the door, come back to your heart, come back to your heart, come back to your heart. That is my advice. And enjoy your holidays if you haven't already. And a happy new year. Have an amazing 2023 if you don't watch me in, until the next year. And uh, I'll see you in that new year. Rise and be love. Love and rise, guys. I'll see you again.